to welcome back to a new Darkness Rises video. In this video, guys, I'm gonna talk about how to defeat uh, and how to defeat faster the bosses in Demonic Rides, especially also with the new boss for Red and even Bakura. If you're a new player, old player, still there might be some tips for you. You never know. So I'm not the best when it comes to, but I know some stuff that uh, uh, can help you for sure. Okay, so let's see. Uh, first thing. Um, well, the class does matter, guys, and I'm gonna show you after which class I think, and from my test, I think are the best uh, that do the most damage right now uh, in PvE, especially in demonic rights. So, uh, before that, the gear is quite important for any class that you play. So, what gear you would you want, and what enhancements, what do you want, what traits, and things like that you want on that gear. So for sure you need to get legendary full legendary and at least try to get full lundel why you want lundel lundel is not the best it's second best gear right now and is more accessible than the new gear but uh, i'm gonna tell you also the perfect in my opinion per perfect setup when it comes to the gear so lundel definitely with the weapon it's quite important max it to level 80 and plus 15 refinement now it's easy to get all the gear try to get all the gear including access accessory to plus 15 so you won't die as fast so you'll have more defense and definitely do more damage because you get your weapon to plus 15 you get extra 10 percent attack and another 308,000 attack okay so that makes a huge difference also for traits for weapon go for crit damage you want to see crit damage crit damage is super important stat Besides the attack, it's uh, another very important stat, same like crit rate. So try to get for your gear crit damage, crit damage, and also try to get the the green and uh, orange, okay, orange traits because those see like this on crit damage and also increase for uh, effects or damage for the weapon skill, okay damage so try to even for accessories try to get for the ones that you can try to get crit damage so you will want your crit damage to be 200,000 plus and your crit rate it's you'll see mine is kind of low right now but you're gonna see it's actually higher because for PV it's higher because you have PV if you see here PV crit rate another 25 percent so it's like it's close to 30 so at least 30 or 40 percent you will want to have that crit rate okay that's how high so as closer to 40 50 percent will be really good i'm gonna show you how you can increase that so the the when it comes to gear the full lundel will, will do okay max it out and also the the legendary accessories okay uh full why because um it can save you okay as you can see it has that damage if you are if you are left one uh, for one uh, hp you have invisibility invisibility for a few seconds also you get pv attack increase and pv crit damage so use the this arctic the arctic uh, set okay pv that's from where i got extra 25 percent 10 percent from here and another 10 percent from other places so pv crit rate and crit damage 10 percent and also pve attack increase so extra attack extra damage from there and so this is uh, when it comes to the gear i'm gonna tell you also in my opinion the perfect gear with the new set so let's go really fast to grimoire so we got also the new sets the black flame and not the pvp sorry the pve so um well if you get the weapon yeah it's okay you can use this weapon because this weapon it will give you more damage okay but in my opinion it will be better to get the cape and the black flame belt and the rest you can still use the the, the weapon the uh, garment and also the helmet from lundel till you get full this gear okay full this full gear it's quite nice it, as you can see it gives you if you have two pieces 20 percent damage extra to demonic bosses crit rate 15 percent pv defense penetration that's eight percent so defense penetration is super important 
is more important than anything else and I'm gonna tell you how you can increase your PVE defense penetration so this if you have to four pieces it gives you 8% which is a lot but if you don't have full you can get these two pieces black flame cape because has PVE attack increase 10% Okay, precise and if you have two you get also the 20% damage against bosses okay so and this the belt gives you another 10% PV crit damage so increase crit damage and also increase attack attack 10% actually is even is very good 10% extra attack is quite good so if you have this one use it and you can combine with this one and the rest you can keep these ones and you have also 90% uh, the weapon skill damage and also the other uh, the cooldown decrease for the weapon skill okay till you get full uh, for it okay and let's see if, uh, when it comes to gear also try to get guys the uh, if you if you don't have okay a full gilded set for costumes okay if you have the best one the best one is at least if not at least try to get a two pieces or three pieces okay so is the gilded dragon from if you have all the four pieces you get another 15 percent extra attack and also max those uh, costumes to level 70. Uh, oops sorry what did i do i unequipped this one sorry guys my bad wait ah he's back okay i was wondering What just happened? Oh wait, something... Ah, this is the... Sorry, this is the PvP set. One second, guys. I need to switch. I was wondering why my... My power is down. So I need to get... Okay. And I quit this one back. Okay, so this is when it comes to the gear. Now let's see there are other ways to increase your damage so I told you defense penetration is super important get it as high as possible I'm gonna show you how you can increase that also try to max your okay essence level okay you get also attack crit uh, uh, some other stats that can help you runes are super important so for power runes you'll want to have the damage increased status effect that increase your damage by 30% when you get debuff the enemy so use a debuffing skill Crit rate, okay, debuff crit rate, so again when you debuff, your crit rate goes another 25% on top of what you have for 5 seconds, so if you have 30%, that's 55%. Also, uh, HP decay, cooldown, so when your HP goes under 20%, the cooldown of the skill decreases by 10 seconds, so that means you can use them again, so you'll do more damage. Besides the ultimate and the other skill, so it's also another one. HP decay attack increase, so again, when your HP goes below 20%, attack increases by 60% for 5, that's a lot of attack, guys. So for 5 seconds, you'll do crazy damage, and believe me, your HP will go below 20% many times when you fight uh, demonic bosses. Then HP evasion, super important, super armor. Why? Because uh, it can... Um, uh, it has super armor for 7 seconds, or if you have this plus plus for 8, I think. And this can save you, okay? Because it gives you some invisibility so for some of the um, debuffs. Or, okay, then you have, oops, and another important one, HP, regen, evasion, HP regen, which regens 10% of max HP when you evade right before the impact your enemy attacks. So it will heal you. So this is also another way to stay alive. So you need those, okay? And let's see, runes, petals, magicite, okay, magicite also, magicite. Uh, try to get, okay, the best magicite. Try to have traits like PVE, crit damage increase, or um, I think has uh, also ah defense penetration. You can get for the dark magicite. Get PV defense penetration increase as high as possible by 6.6% because this will add on top of what you have. So that's very useful. So crit, ra crit rate, PV, defense penetration for this one. And I think also for some of them you can get also PV crit, not crit rate, crit damage, sorry, my bad. PV crit damage and also defense penetration. Only on this one you can get them. But the crit damage you can get on all of them. 
Uh, okay, next one is the pet. So pet also are very important. If you didn't got this one from the event, okay, this one is the Sukubus is quite good, gives higher stats and used to be paid to win. Uh, I got get the attack one. You want to get the attack, an attack pet, okay. Uh, and also traits, try to get defense penetration increase as high as possible. If you can get close to 10% is better. Mine is only 8.3% and also attack increase or crit rate. So defense penetration is the best then attack or crit rate. One of those, okay, as high as possible also. Mm, let's see what else. Um, awakening, for awakening attributes wise, very important. Best, I would say, get this one, Bloodthirsty, to keep your life. Critical hits restores 3% of inflicted damage back to HP. So super important to keep you alive. Then Madness, to do more damage, you do 40% 40, 40 extra damage against, against enemy, even if you take more damage, 20% more. But it's good to kill that uh, boss fast. You will want to kill as fast as possible those bosses, okay? And then you have Monster Hunter, which gives you 5% extra damage to, to all the bosses and even monsters. And Boss Hunter gives you another 10%, that's 15%. Then you have Expertise, can give you extra defense penetration, 5% for 5 seconds. And also you can get enhanced power. And this one, guys, punishment, when you get uh, enough attributes, points, okay, to spend. Get this one because it has a 5% chance to increase your crit rate by 100% for 5 seconds. That means you'll heal more and you'll do more damage. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, those are the pets skills. Let's see. Also, don't forget. Get the buffs from here. Always get these buffs, guys. It makes a lot of difference. You get crit rate 5%. PV. Get the PV ones. And crit damage another 25%. Okay, so that's really nice. Let's see if it's updated. Let's see how much I have now. So, one second. Come on. Okay, uh, is, it will show maybe it's above. It doesn't show updated. But anyways, defense penetration, attack, crit rate, crit damage. They are all important. And also you saw some other like some uh, healing it's always good it's like actually very important not just um, uh, and what else uh, yeah classes which classes are the best in my opinion the best best class and don't forget to get the buffs from jacuzzi guys get the best buffs like attack increase and okay crit rate whatever it has get those and the best class in my opinion to do this boss the one that uh, does the most damage is the Archmage. So if your main is Archmage, you're happy player because you can kill even Horet, this boss, you can kill it in about 10 seconds or so. If you have enough, if you have everything right, 8 to 10 seconds you can kill this boss. Okay, so that's really nice. Now, uh, also Assassin can do that. So Assassin is another strong Actually, let's try. Let's try with this one. Maybe I'll try one or two times. Uh, so the second best, I think, or maybe it's on the same level, but I don't think so. I think still the Archmage is better than the Assassin. Then you have uh, the Guardian does decent damage. Even the Warrior, uh, the Berserker. I think the least damage you get. Archer also is good. The least damage I think you get with. Um, this one, okay, with the, uh, I forgot her name, for her, <laughs> they need to update her damage, she does the least amount of damage, that's in my test, okay, the witch, okay, right, let's go for, let's go with the Archmage, let's go with the Archmage, really fast, okay, demonic ride, and make sure, guys, make sure, uh, you find when you play with uh, against Horet, okay, find players that have over uh, 90 million is safer, 100 million would be perfect, but doesn't mean they are good. So you can have uh, players that are good at 70, 75, 80 million even. Maybe they have the right stats or they know how to play. 
and you need to learn the boss mechanics this boss is annoying for me because many times uh, the chains of love and chain I cannot notice them because you need to pay attention uh, it's it's not when you do damage and you have all those uh, uh, floating damage and everything your screen it's already crowded so it's very hard to notice uh, the effects of the chains of love or chain because you have to run for chains of love you have to uh, to get close to your to the other players for see how much damage i didn't even you when use the the best skill for our mage definitely is the meteor shower or however it's called still did decent damage but i should have used the meteor okay so our mage is quite good um assassin also good Guardian it does because has the lightning, you know, that skill. It also does lots of damage. And then you have the Zerker, the Warrior, the... What what else? I forgot. There are other classes. I always forget what other classes. Archer. Oh, Archer also is good. Sorry. Archer is also good. But not... It's not better than... Um, let's try Assassin. It's not better than... the. Archmage, in my opinion. It's close, but not better. What do you think, guys? Which, which is your... And tell me if you have other... Oh, by the way, I forgot about weapon skill. The weapon skill... The weapon, not the weapon skill. I'm going to show you one second. Try to get... Um, okay. Gear skill. Okay, the gear skill. Rank L skill. Try to get either temporal power... Or even better, I think, Brutal Power. If you get 100% for 10 seconds, phew, that's crazy. You get massive amount of damage, guys. So, yeah. Okay, let, let's see how I do with this one. Nope. 65 million is it's very risky. I won't go with that. Okay, 100... 93, this should be okay. If you see Archmage in your team or Assassins that are like 90 million plus 100 million, you're safe because they can nuke the boss quite fast. Okay, most of them, they kill it quite fast. So yeah, those are some other tips. Archmage have, they are the best nukers Okay, and make sure <laughs> you stay alive because if this, the boss does this and uh, some of your teammates die, you lose. Okay, you need full team to defeat the boss. Okay, so we did it. See, you can do it without... Uh, uh, some people are killing, like a good Archmage can kill this boss in... 8 or 10 seconds o also assassin so let me know what's your best time uh, what's your main and which do you think like top 3 which are the highest damage in uh, characters right now okay in pv let me know so till next time guys see you and bye